Hi, Joy Tribe. Welcome to the Joy Villa podcast, where we talk about spicy topics. Today, we're going to talk about male versus female roles. And I've got a special guest. I'm joined here today with Dow Emperor. He's part of the Joy Tribe, and he's calling in from Zimbabwe. And we are going to dissect this topic. We're going to talk about intelligence, how important that is in a relationship, and many other things. Let's get into it, Joy Tribe. By the way, if you'd like to be featured in my next podcast, go ahead and download the Bigo app. That's B-I-G-O, where I am reacting and and chatting with different people live. So this is live. And so this conversation is recorded live. No editing. We're just going to be very natural, very real. We're going to keep it PG or PG-13. So don't you worry about that if you're listening at work. But it will be spicy and we're going to have our own spicy, unique takes. So if you're a member of the Joy Tribe, you've got something to say. Make sure you download the Bego app and follow me on there. You can also send me an email, joy at joyvilla.com. And as always, I go live every Wednesday 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube. Join the party. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every Wednesday. And the YouTube is youtube.com backslash Miss M-I-S-S Joy Villa. Do you like that? I created a little bit of mystery. You said, what is it? <laughs> well, we've got my guest here, Dow Emperor. He is the man, the myth, the legend. He goes by Dow Emperor. He's the man who is from Zimbabwe. He's currently calling. It's 4 a.m. out there. And we, we've we been chatting. And I said, you know what? Let's get this on the podcast because Joy Tribe needs to know these are some spicy takes. And my audience is not afraid of controversy. You're a programmer. Welcome to the podcast, Dow Emperor. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so tell, tell everybody, uh, well, basically... We were talking about intelligence and how important that is in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, it, you have to first define intelligence because maybe you view intelligence differently. Mm-hmm. And uh, personally, I I think that uh, intelligence is the ability to solve problems you don't have to think about the problem the solution just comes to you and uh this is built upon uh the basis that you have enough knowledge in the background that just computes it's like you subconsciously you compute subconsciously and mm. then you, you solve problems it's, you don't need to think maybe there are problems that you need to think about but uh for most problems you just have the answers Mm, mm. I don't know if it's if it's different for other people, but for me, uh, I usually don't think about solutions. They just come to me. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let me, let me just, you know, I've got one mic and I'm sharing it. I want to make sure that we, we're going to upgrade the studio here, but I want to make sure that the sound is good because I think it's, a, I'm moving this mic all around. Um, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, we do a behind the scenes. But for those of you listening to the podcast, <laughs> you're like, what's happening? Um, you know, I want to say something about that, Dow, is you you made a good point is is intelligence can also be you don't have to think about the solution. You literally are just it comes to you. So in terms of that sort of intelligence, which I think is really, truly, it's not book knowledge, right? Book knowledge is great. You're a programmer. So you had to do a lot of. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not necessarily education, right? Yeah. No. 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 It's not. <laughs> the education system nowadays is just. Uh, no. 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 Right. Right. It's crazy, and it's also not necessarily. I mean, I. I think it's. I do think that intelligence is is how you extrapolate data. Right. You study. You can study, you can, you can learn, but then it's how do you apply that data and how do you use it? Yeah, it's, it's in the application because uh, I'm a programmer and uh, I'm self-taught. I didn't go, go to university. Wow. I'm self-taught and uh, I, I've met guys who uh, have degrees in computer sciences 
and they can't they can't solve problems they can they can't solve problems relating to their field mm. and i think that's why you've got big companies like sony microsoft getting hacked because the guys who are there mm. they get the guys who are diploma educated and uh, yeah it's book knowledge it's book knowledge but it's it, it looks good on paper but they can't actually apply what they've learned. And that's kind of the thing with school is it teaches you, oh, hey, you know, learn this formula, memorize this, right? Repeat after me, you know, be a good boy, be a good girl. This is what I don't like about the educational system. Yet when it comes to the real world application, they're lost and clueless. What do you think about that, Dal? <laughs> can you hear me uh, I'm, losing, I'm losing audio can ah okay can, yes so i said so we lost you for a moment i said it <clears throat> basically these guys you know they 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 get into this educational system and it's men and women these people and they i mean because we're going to talk about relationships and how this applies in a moment but basically they have all this book knowledge they've been taught to, you know, be good boys and girls, which is why I hate the educational system, yet they don't know how to apply it. Yeah, uh, there's a situation which happened. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a situation which happened and uh, at the building caught fire. And uh, one of the guys were in the meeting and one of the guys just grabbed his suit and tried to jump out of the window. Oh my God. So he just ran and jumped and he hit the window. Luckily, he didn't break. So we caught him and we were asking, dude, why didn't you use... We're losing you a little bit of audio here. So, the, okay. so you asked the guy, dude, why didn't you... Okay, Dow, hold on. I think we got a Wi-Fi connection. By the way, listeners, we are talking with Dow Emperor. He is one of my joy tribers. Um, he jumped on from Facebook. He found out I was live streaming on Bigo. We got into a great discussion. I said, let's let's join you onto the podcast. He's in Zimbabwe right now, which I think is why we're having a little bit of audio difficulties. Uh, are you with us, Dow? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Okay, great. So you said something about this guy. There was a fire. The building caught fire. And then you asked him. Yeah, yeah, he tried to jump out of the window. And uh, we came to the conclusion that maybe it was the influence of he read it about somewhere or maybe he saw it in a movie because it wasn't applicable in that situation <laughs> why he tried to jump out of the window. Mm. But the, the, there were better solutions. He could have used the fire escape the elevator or the <laughs> stairs, but he chose to jump out of the window. Wow. Well, they say don't use an elevator during a fire, though. That's what they say. Well, 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 well you, you see, uh, maybe, but it depends on what kind of fire. That's true. If, is the microwave on fire or is the building on fire? Big difference. Yeah, if, if it's the building on fire, you, you can't use an elevator. But if the trash can is on fire... Yeah, you can. <laughs> then you put it out. That's almost like a thing for life. If the trash can is on fire, you put the trash can out. You don't jump out the window. It's like people can kind of understand. And we've got some people joining high music. We've got some great fans. Firefly Mizos on Bigo. Listeners, if you're just tuning in, this is the Joy Villa podcast. And we are going live with this on the Bigo app. It's free. Download it join me on it. By the way, my name is Joy Villa Music on Bigo. We're also going live on YouTube every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because your girl's in Florida. And that is Miss Joy Villa on YouTube. M-I-S-S-J-O-Y-V as in victory, I-L-L-A. So I want to sort of pivot. We're talking with Dow Emperor, an, a programmer and a masculine man. We were talking about masculinity masculinity earlier and you're in you're in freaking Zimbabwe so which is really cool now I think Zimbabwe has more traditional gender roles is that true 
yeah, we, we are more traditional. And uh, honestly, things like non-binary, <laughs> uh, homosexuality, it's, it's, uh, it gives me goosebumps. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know about those. I, to be honest, I haven't looked up non-binary in the dictionary. I don't even know what it means. But I assume it means you're yeah, neither male or female, which is which is not biologically possible. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Careful now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get censored just for you saying the truth. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Obviously, you're correct. It's not biologically possible. Exactly. So all of that stuff hasn't reached. I mean, I lived in South Africa for six months and they feel the exact same way as Zimbabwe. It's 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 unreal how the United States has had masculinity absolutely hijacked and femininity. Feminism has taken that over to where it's now toxic to be a man. It's now toxic to, to be a part of the manosphere or just talk about masculine or alpha male stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I personally, I think that uh, when we talk about these issues, we must first look at the word perversion. Mm. It's, it's perversion. Mm. What is not meant to be? Mm. Mm. It's mm. not meant to be. In many, in many ways, it's not meant to be. Maybe spiritually, some Christians are against it. And uh, scientifically, mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. So it's perversion. Absolutely. It's so true. And I'm, I, I say, you know, to each his own, I'm not going to hate on you, but for, for this to be the mass acceptance uh, push towards it, absolutely. It's, it is 100% perverting the truth and changing people to where they're now confused in many ways. This, this whole feminine men, masculine women thing, you know, I do. I truly believe modern feminism has destroyed the nuclear family. And by nuclear family, I mean the traditional man is the head of the household. He provides the protection and the stability. The woman um, is the supporter. She's the neck that holds the head up. She provides the warmth and the nurturing and the traditional roles. Now you can change them up. I think as spiritual beings, we can decide what we want to do with that, those traditional roles. But for the most part, gender roles, male and female, creates a harmony. It creates harmony because everyone knows what they're doing. What are your thoughts on that? I think we lost Dow Emperor because I know I know that we were chatting about this, but Dow, when when your sound comes back up, we'll put you back on. It's I mean we're you're all the way in Zimbabwe and we're doing this through the Bigo app, which is quite amazing. By the way, you guys get on Bigo. I'm on there. I'm live streaming. Definitely putting out a lot of juicy content. Okay, so Dow, you're back. What do you think about the whole traditional gender roles? Yeah, I think it's about uh, access to media. Because in Africa, maybe in Zimbabwe, we don't have access to a lot of media content. Mm. Like the press, we have a few newspapers and uh, we just go on YouTube, maybe Twitter. And we're not exposed to some let's say, parts of society. Because mm -hmm. nowadays, people, what they see as the truth, they take it from so-called experts and uh, maybe what people agree on on, on the internet. Mm -hmm. And they take it as right. the truth. So uh, it's uh, there's a lot of confusion about that. and it's Absolutely. I think you nailed it. You nailed it when you said that too about the confusion in the media. I mean, mainstream media has done so much harm to people and they think, well, I'm supposed to think differently, even though it doesn't make sense. I want to flip it to make it personal. Now we were talking about intelligence and female male roles and you, what you look for in a woman. I'd love to hear about that. Uh, what I look for in a woman Personally, well, emotional stability, mm. uh, willpower. Oh. I'm a big fan of willpower. Mm. Yeah, how hard a person goes under pressure. Wow. And uh, physical, physical fitness, mm -hmm. intelligence, uh, empathy. 
Mm -hmm. I look for a lot of things. Ability. Yeah, those are ethics. Ethics. Ooh. It's one of the most important things. Ooh. Ethics. This is amazing. I look for this. And look for this. And look for this. They look for this. And I won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you look for this and you keep looking. <laughs> yeah. 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 Honestly, that is so incredible. I would say for me, because I like to I like to do this on the Joy Village show too, to get the perspective, male versus female. It's not really versus, it's like male and female. It's we were talking about alpha, beta, all this stuff, you know. But really, when it comes down to, because we can talk about that in a moment too, I love what you said because you look at fitness is one thing that women have stopped trying to be fit. We're like beauty at any size and all this stuff. And it's not true, not when you're you know, a hundred pounds overweight. I mean, you might have a beautiful heart, but you can't get your body around. I mean, I, I think your heart is, is clotted. Your arteries are clotted. So, <laughs> <laughs> so not even your heart is beautiful at that moment, but that doesn't mean you can't, but that's the discipline, right? You talk about ethics and discipline. Those are beautiful things for a woman to have and the emotional stability. I never hear a man say that. But that is one of the things that I cannot stand as a woman when I see another woman who's emotionally unsta unstable. And so many women, especially the prettier the woman is, usually the higher volatility emotionally she possesses because she's never had, and I'm going to call out women here. I'm going to just do it shamelessly because I'm in support of families. That means also men, even though I'm a woman, it doesn't mean I hundred percent side with my sisters over my misters. I mean, my personal sister, my girls, yes, I got your back, but I mean, to the general population of women. And unfortunately this is going to go against what every woman has been raised with, but I'm going to tell you ladies, the prettier you are, the easier you have it. And also the dumber you've kind of been allowed to be. And the crazier you've allowed to be because you are a beautiful object Then nobody expects a beautiful object to be smart. And no, and that's the unfortunate thing to be smart or to be ethical or to be emotionally stable. I know so many beautiful women on the outside who are crazy and men keep falling for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if if you look at beauty and uh, it's, it's we lost you a little bit now. We, we he's calling in from Zimbabwe. If you'd like to call into this broadcast for the next one, make sure you follow me on B on Bigo and make sure you shoot me an email joy at joyvilla dot com, and I would love to get you on. We're using the Bigo app. Make sure you have a good Wi Fi connection. Um, you know, but it's true what Dow Emperor was and I are chatting about. He's um, a young man from Zimbabwe. He's a programmer and he is looking for a lot of specific things that I don't think are crazy in a woman. I think that that's the least amount of expectation. I don't think that that's crazy. Um, I think you, you're you expecting the basics. Your thoughts about that? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, if if you look at at, at uh, what you call the basics, like ethics. If a person is ethical, they are more truthful, and uh, they work hard. I mm -hmm. know ethical people work hard, and uh, if a person works hard, uh, they are happy. They get what they want in life. Maybe they won't get all of it, mm -hmm. but they get most of it, and. Uh, you find that I think these are the formulas of existence. Yeah, absolutely. And a wise man once said that production is the basis of morale, meaning the, the more you produce, the harder you work, the happier you are. And also in today's society, you don't have to work hard if you're a beautiful woman. That's what we have all this only fans and all this. Now, I guess they work hard to an extent. They work hard on showing their booties off and all this stuff. But I am so against this culture because we're promoting um, that women should just get by on their looks. And it used to be that a woman had to have elegance, not just looks. A pretty girl could only get you in the door. Prettiness could open doors for you, but it's 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 up to you to keep them open. And I, I was raised with that. I wasn't raised with rely on your looks. You're pretty, so you don't have to 
be smart. I mean, I was a total nerd growing up. I'm still a total nerd. People are surprised when they meet me. They're like, Joy Villa, you're nice. You're kind. You're courteous. And you're nerdy. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm a person. <laughs> you know, looks are going to fade. Yeah, it's, it's all about value. How much value you put yourself in. Yes. You, you need to it. have a lot of value. You need to be valuable. Mm -hmm. And uh, this includes skills. Uh, what I see is beauty. It, today, nowadays, you can get beauty at a, at, at a cheap cost. You can go to a plastic surgeon and you can get beautiful according mm -hmm. To social standards, beautiful, and uh, in the end, a lot of people can do that. Mm -hmm. So it's not unique. That's why you 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 have the guys who get trophy wives. Yeah, he yeah. plays with her, and at the end of the day, he finds a better option. Someone who's beautiful by mod modern standards. Put that in quotes. <laughs> That is so true. And I, I love hearing the roosters crow in the background. It's 4 a.m. So they're waking waking you guys up in Zimbabwe. It is so true. Beauty is cheap these days. I want to say something about that because beauty is so easy to come by. You have the Kardashian standard, quote unquote, standard of beauty, which truly is not a standard, I think. But it's it's fake beauty. It's makeup. I mean, nowadays a woman's beauty can be wiped off with a with a tissue. <laughs> and a good cleanser, you know, makeup, false eyelashes, fake, not, you know, not to mention like the, the 10 layers of hair, nails, makeup, eyelashes, contacts, um, padding. Now I do believe it is a woman's job to look beautiful, to look her best. Men should also have grooming and look their best. But if that is all you have to offer, just like you said, what about the value? What are you actually bringing to the table? Because a man's value is very straightforward. Every woman wants a man who is rich or who stably makes money, has a stable career, and will be there when he says he's going to be there. That's all about stability. It's all about what you've worked for. You are born with value when you're a woman. You are born valuable, but it's up to you to keep it. I believe men are born without value. Unfortunately, it's up to them to create it. But once a man creates value and you were born with this value, if you can, this is my viewpoint, if you can't reach him where he's at and provide more than just the value you were quote unquote born with, which is beauty, being a woman, having a womb, being able to, to be warm. But if you can't add to that, if all you are is a sex object or all you are is, a, is yeah, basically a trophy wife, like you said, you're going to age out of that. And the man's value is going to go up and up and up because if he's making 50K now, in 10 years, he's going to make 70, 80K, 100K. All of a sudden, he's a millionaire and you're an old hag who has to keep getting surgery. It's it's harsh, but he's going to upgrade. He's not going to he's not going to put up with you because you didn't invest when you had the value. Now you've lost your value. As a woman ages, she loses value. I hate to say, but on the sexual marketplace value, this is true. She loses value. As a man ages, he usually gains value. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Yeah. As a man ages, he, he gains more value. And uh, you can see that from the young girls who usually get attached to older men. Mm -hmm. I think they find these men more valuable than younger men. <laughs> because it takes a lot and it takes time to build an empire. And uh, yes. women usually want men with strong empires. And so, yeah, value is it's like wine. It's get, get best it gets better with age. It's so and, uh, true. It's so true. Yeah. I think for a man, that's what value provides. I want to give a shout out to my Bego audience. Matthew Mittens joined. Hey, music join all my fans here on Bego. If you'd like to join the conversation live while it's happening, this is the Joy Villa podcast. You can also listen as well on everywhere podcasts are available. Hopefully you're gaining some insight and education on this great topic. We're talking with Dao Emperor. He is a part of the Joy Tribe, a very smart, intelligent man. You're a programmer from Zimbabwe. And I really think that this value thing, women have to be told this over and over again, because we are told today in today's society, as a woman, I'm told, uh, beauty at any age, at any, any height, any weight, any emotional instability, 
You know, we're told our value never fades. No, you're born with value. It decreases as you age. That's the harsh reality. As you age out of being able to have babies, as your skin fades, as your your sexual marketplace value fades. It, this is the this is the truth. Just like you're you're aging out of your value. As a man is born, he's born without value. This is just as harsh. He's just a kid. Nobody wants an 18 year old kid who doesn't have a car, who doesn't have a job. A, and a 40 year old man who doesn't have a car, doesn't have a job. If he hasn't built something by then, people are looking at him like he's a loser. Well, it's harsh, but it's true. Every person, male or female, needs to think, how can I add value not only to myself, but to the world I'm in, to my partner, to my church, to my community? If you are thinking with that mindset, male or female, you can't lose. You can't lose. Yeah, it's uh, you have to work hard. You have to work hard. You know, I, I, I see a lot of people, they go and party and... Uh, they like to sleep. It's one one thing I hate is sleeping, and uh, I think if evolution is, is a problem with that, maybe we must look for a solution <laughs> for that. I hate I hate sleeping. You hate to sleep. We need to deprogram our bodies. You're a programmer. Maybe you can get with a a geneticist, and we can change the genes that we don't need sleep. Yeah, yeah. The, an article which actually said that uh, needing less sleep was a mutation. Wow. Yeah, I didn't read. I didn't read about. I didn't read it because uh, I don't I agree with things less. Yeah, we need to sleep, but if you need to sleep less, maybe it's a mental problem. Mm. Or you are, you are facing something or hardships or st maybe it's stress, it's stress. I actually think though, too, I think that you're right on, you're onto something with the sleep. I mean, we do need to charge our bodies, but I do think we can survive with less sleep. When we're motivated for our dreams and goals, we actually are better with less sleep. I, I love getting good sleep, but I also, I, I burn out a lot of energy in the day. Like I work out. I get, I try to get up my ideal, my ideal situations when I get up at 6 30 AM, I go to the gym, I do fasted cardio, fasted lifting weights. Um, and then I get to work, you know, by 9 AM I'm doing videos, I'm doing chats, I'm doing meetings, uh, negotiating contracts. I'm working with my team for film, for music. I'm always on my hustle. I, I take time to study, but I also take time to relax and reflect. I mean, being a woman, I know that my hustle is 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 a masculine energy trait. But when I have a man in my life, I, I currently am single at the, at the time of this broadcast. But when I have a man in my life, my job is also to nurture and care for him. See, I think that today's standards are the woman hustles, the man hustles. Yes, you need to hustle as a woman, but you need to hustle differently. Feminine hustle is yes, be about your business, do your thing. But when your man comes home, pamper him, cater to him, be a wife to him. And he will be a husband to you. I do believe in giving a lot of value. I do believe when a man is in my life, it is my job to, to give him the three things a man really needs. Are you ready for this? I'm going to tell you what three. Let me know if you disagree with this. Okay, you ready? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. What are, what are those? Okay, so here we go. It's three things a man needs. I didn't invent this, This is, but I'm repeating this. Sex silence and sandwiches Ooh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> food <laughs> you know you know I, I i i don't like drama it's uh i don't i don't like drama in the okay. usual i don't like to speak uh, i'm a man of action i don't like to speak a lot mm -hmm. uh so even if you can hear me speak speaking i'm just uh, stammering and that, that's how I speak. You speak well. Not doing any, no, yeah, like this. Uh, it's My mind is actually moving so fast and mm -hmm. thinking about other things and other things. So I, I when I work, the I concentrate. I concentrate on things. When I work and I'm producing something, I concentrate on things and uh, I don't become distracted and Mm -hmm. th that's my zone. I, I, I'm a workaholic. I work a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it keeps me, it's physical work, mental work, and emotional work. 
Wow. You have to work on, on your emotions. So, yeah. Wow. What a high quality man you are. That's incredible. It's so true, though. You know, and, and that's a very masculine trait to be a workaholic. We're actually, we demonize being a workaholic. I believe a woman should be a workaholic to some extent. Once you have kids and a husband, though, I do think part of your job is to take care of your husband. That's the care and keeping of a man. It is very much a, a lost art. And it's something that women and society has told women and girls is bad. Like, don't cater to your man. Why? My best relationships have been when we spoil each other, you know, in different ways. We're equal, but we're not the same. People have a, a misconstrued notion of that means tit for tat. You do this for me. You make 100K. I got to make 100K. And I got men don't want your money. Men don't want your money. Right. Am I am I wrong? Like I said, sex, silence and sandwiches. You feed a man. You take care of them with the food. And if, if you guys are a hustle team, then you be the one who order the Uber Eats. Then you order the food at least. You don't, if you, but you should be able to cook for your man. You should be able to get him some food. You should be able to recognize when he's grumpy and he needs to eat. Because if you, you know, when a man is working all day, like you said, you're a workaholic, that is a high value man trait because men build the world that women get to live in and enjoy. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I, I think nowadays uh, girls have been uh, are being taught wrong. Yeah, it's wrong because uh, my last relationship, I've been in a relationship only once, and uh, only once. How wait? How old are you, Tao Emperor? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I'm 27. So you're a young man. You've been you've had one relationship. How long was it? Uh, a year. What? You know what? You're not the only man that I have heard from that has had one or none relationships. That shocks me, though. You're 27. You've had one relationship that lasted a year. And what happened with that? Sorry, I cut you off. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's a. Uh, she was like, uh, I wanted to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Oh, you buy me this, I buy you that. It was like an equal exchange. Equal exchange. Did that weird you out? I don't believe in that. Because I believe because uh, I think a man can you hear me? Yes, it just cut out for a little bit. Say that say that again. You, she wanted to buy you things. Whenever you bought her something, she wanted to exchange right away. Yeah, yeah, I think uh you can exchange another. Mm -hmm. You can exchange in other ways, right? I, I think you can exchange in that. Yeah, we're having a little bit of audio difficulties, but Dow Emperor, when you get back online, I'm going to basically um, tell the listeners here exactly. It, it sounds like, you know, Dow is 27. He's a programmer. He lives in Zimbabwe. He's obviously got a mindset for success. And, you know, he's saying like he dated a girl, the only girl he dated in, in a relationship, right? A serious relationship was a year. It's a serious relationship. Um, she wanted to exchange tit for tat. And that weirded him out, right? That weirded you out. Because you said you can exchange in other ways, which I agree that a woman does exchange. When, when a woman says, you know, I bring value to the table. I bring something to the table. And a man says, what do you bring to the table? I think she should know what she brings. And it doesn't have to be. It's not the same thing a man brings because men don't want that. Women like to be spoiled with gifts. We like diamonds and jewels. And not even if it's not diamonds, it can be fake diamonds. But we like sparkly, even if they're plastic. We like sparkly crap that men don't even care about. We like makeup. Men don't care about that. We like we're totally different. Females are totally different than males. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. I think we need to get over that. Women like to, me, I'm such a girly girl. I like to get my nails done, my hair done, my skin done. I like to, you know, spend hours in a bathtub. I like candles. I like things that a man doesn't like, and that's okay. So if I were to treat a man, I wouldn't buy him flowers. I, I read somewhere like, oh, I buy a man flowers. He loves it. I'm like, I don't think so. No man I've dated would ever maybe appreciate that you exchange something that you thought of him. But would you, I think you'd right if a, if a woman brought you 12 dozen roses, like 12 roses, a dozen ro red roses, what would you think about that? Yeah, I'll tell you straight up that uh, no, 
<laughs> she must not do that. <laughs> she must not do that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I love your accent. No, and women get confused because nobody's teaching women any, anymore. This is why I love being, you know, a, a woman of influence. I love being here and being able to talk to ladies because I am a woman who has has been through life and experienced life and I've kept my feminine wits about me. I stay feminine, even though I'm very much powerful and everyone's like, you're a boss, babe, all this stuff. Yeah, I am when it comes to my own career and my music and my movies. And, you know, I've been involved in many things, very outspoken on issues, socially, economically, politically. But when it comes to me and my man, I am submissive to my man and I treat him in ways that, that, cater to a man's needs. That's why I'm like, a man has to cater to a woman's needs in so many different ways. We need so many different things. A man just needs three things, sex, silence, and sandwiches. Silence is giving him peace. Be his peace. Be that feminine. You know, just put a plate of food in front of him and turn on the TV for him to watch his Monday night football or whatever he wants to watch or leave him alone to work. Leave him alone. Give him some food. Give him a kiss you know, and then, and then get, give them some goody goody at night. Like it just, it's so simple to keep men happy. This is, this is why uh, lots of relationships. I, I mean, I'm not a perfect person, but I at least had that. And I've had many long-term relationships, not many, but enough that I, I know how to take care of a man and I know what I like. And I've been married, you know, unfortunately I'm not married now. But I want to be married again. I want to be a wife again one day, because once you've been a wife, once you know how to be a wife to a husband, it is a different game that I wish many of these young girls would experience. It is, you have to be so selfless. You put the marriage first. You put the, the needs of you both together first. You put your husband first, not above God, but above your own personal desires. Many women can't do that. That's the only way that a family can really run. And you know, your partner, your husband's putting you first, but not above his provisions. This is the thing a lot of women, and I, I want to know your take on this. Women will get their egos hurt, but I believe a woman should not have an ego. I think you should get rid of an ego, get rid of this. That's masculine energy. You know, um, now you know that I've been crushing music says <laughs> on my bego. Um, you know, that's one of the things is like women need to not have an ego. I will be the first to admit the problems I've brought to relationships have all stemmed from my ego. And it's hard it's hard. I've really, it's like I get an ego and I get, well, he shouldn't talk. I should, he should know who I am. No, you're already messing up. You need to come from a place of love, forgiveness, warmth, nurturing. That's feminine energy. And if something's wrong, you say, you know, I feel like I, we could do this. And you know how you feel, but you present it in a way that's like on a, on a platter for your husband to, to, to see. And you do one idea at a time. You don't overwhelm him with a bunch of nonsense. That's where the silence comes in. You need to be his peace. Like you said, you have so much going on in your head. The last thing you want to come home to is a naggy woman who's like, why didn't you blah, 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 right? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you know, I may come off as controlling, but, uh, Usually, I'm like a guy who says, I want this done, mm -hmm. and it gets done. I, I, I don't, I don't, no, now that's hot to me. I, I, that's attractive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a shame we have some audio issues all the way from Zimbabwe. I don't, I, I don't believe if, Dal Emperor, we've got a little issue here on the audio, but you know, we're going to wrap it up soon. This has been such a great topic and it's been such a juicy thing. I'm going to get, I'm going to put the mic back on Dal once the audio sort of gets back. Sorry about that listeners, but you know, this happens. We're recording this live and this is, this is how it happens sometimes. But what he said is he's a man who believes that once it gets, he, he knows once something gets done, it gets done. And I have to say that if you want a man like that, ladies, and because a lot of women listen to this podcast, a lot of men do too. Um, but I really want to speak. The men already know what I'm talking. I think the men really appreciate that I'm not demonizing them as a woman. And um, as a woman in, in the public eye, I really want to support men because I was raised by a good, strong, masculine father, a preacher. My daddy taught me 
how to be a woman. And my mom was feminine. My parents both passed away, unfortunately, about 15 years ago, roughly. I miss them every day of my life. I, I, you know, I thank God that I had such an example in my life, Christian household, being raised by the the epitome of feminine and masculine. And they might have been extreme sometimes, you know, and and they might have been wild. And I don't want to say crazy and disrespect them because they weren't crazy, but they they had their issues and faults. They were human. They were human, but they loved each other. They were married till the day my mom passed away and my dad died of a broken heart three three years later. It's really truly love. It's I I saw love and I saw duty. A man's this is what I want to say that's going to break some female egos because women, you cannot afford to have an ego if you want to be married, if you want to be in a long-term relationship, but I believe the best ones lead to marriage. If you want to have a relationship, I'm not thinking, I'm not saying you should put up with anything you don't feel. If you really truly put your ego down and see is like going to help and aid your survival as a female, I don't think women should be treated with disrespect, but many things we think are disrespectful are just a man being masculine. You have to let a man tell you no. You have to let a man say, no, I'm putting work in front of you and going out with your friends. Because if a woman can't see that that helps provide for the household, that helps pay for the bills, that helps pay for the children in a traditional relationship, I don't want it. Like, honestly, women, get your man, let your man work late. Let your man work and leave him alone. Give him the three things he needs, the three S's, sex, silence, and sandwiches, and you will be a happy wife. You will be happy wife, happy life. Don't expect him to react like a woman to all your needs. That's what girlfriends are for. That's what, uh, you know, clergymen and women are for, like in the church. That's what women's groups are for. Where No, not to talk crap about your man, but to talk about your hormones and your issues with body confidence and you know, we, we go through a lot as women, but if you can't be emotionally stable and there for your man, why do you expect him to be financially stable and there for you? Are we back Dow? I think we lost him. Dow Emperor. Thank you so much for joining 27. He is a programmer out of Zimbabwe amazing young man. Thank you so much for joining the podcast today and allowing for me to record you. He really said some amazing things. Unfortunately, we had some uh, audio issues towards the end, but he will have to invite him back. Let me know if you'd like to be on the Joy Villa podcast. All you got to do is jump on Bico. That's the Bico app, B-I-G-O, Bico, where I am live streaming not seven days a week, but five days a week. I'm on here and I'm letting Joy Tribe know we're getting some juicy content out and we're doing the Joy Villa podcast dropping weekly. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube as well because we do reaction videos, different topics. We talk about feminism, masculinism, you know, relationships, celebrity couples, all from my perspective and the perspective of others. Truly, my purpose is to create more harmony in this world and support the nuclear family, support values and integrity to support a world where we can truly go after our dreams, goals, and purposes in alignment with I. In an ideal value system. And I believe values begin in the household. I believe values, whether you're from any religion, any gender, any upbringing, any country, values are what make a person a person. They're truly the things that separates us from animals. We have values. We have integrity. We have morals. We have ethics. We at least have access to them. But unfortunately, in today's modern age, we also have a lot of confusion. So join me on my weekly podcast and my daily YouTube uploads at youtube.com backslash Miss Joy Villa. That's M-I-S-S Joy Villa. That's youtube.com backslash Miss Joy Villa, as well as on Bego, where my username is Joy Villa Music. And yeah, you can talk, you can check out my music on Spotify all streaming platforms, Apple Music, wherever fine music is sold. Please support this channel, this podcast. Like, subscribe on any platform you like. And I'm also on Instagram at Joy Villa and Twitter, Joy underscore Villa, all verified accounts. Let your girl know what you'd like me to talk about next in the next Joy Villa show 
podcast. I love you very much, Joy Tribe. I look forward to sharing more education, love, and hope with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.